so I'm in uh, I'm in South Carolina, which is uh, the the fourth largest hotspot for the Ooh-la-la. virus or the human mouth we'll have to believe that I guess the fourth fourth highest spot. Which isn't that ridiculous? We're this far into it on YouTube. It's it's every aspect of our life. But YouTube, we, we have states that are among the top in nations for cases because we're just. Stupid. But we're at this point, and YouTube is still like, oh, you can't say that word. That's a bad word. It can't say. This is the world now, you idiots. This is this is reality now. Even here in Colorado, cases are starting to spike. And <clears throat> we're our county's part of a tri-county health department, mm-hmm. and they put out a mask mandate. So one county pulled out of the tri-county health department. And a city in our county, their city council voted that they would not obey the the duo county now mask mandate. So I, I mean, people keep asking me how I like Denver and I'm like, my house is really nice. (laughs) And you're never, Maybe, maybe, maybe someday I'll get to see things that are in Denver that are not my house. Yeah. Probably not, though. We had Greg Dooley tickets. We had Bauhaus tickets. They're probably never touring again. We, we, had, we had Mets tickets. We had Mets tickets because the Met, you know, there's a National League team here. What are they called? The Rockies. Yes, the Rockies. I want to point out every other every other developed nation in the world right now. Yeah is pretty much getting back to a semblance of normal. Things are still not perfect yet, but they're getting there. Except us. And like, I don't mean to sound super privileged about the stuff I'm missing. That is a small price to pay and I'm happy to do it. I'm annoyed because we shouldn't still be at this point. No, no, no. But we're gonna be. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. That's where we are. I also want to take a minute. If anybody, I don't know if we have any like witches that watch the show, but we need to do protection spells. For yeah. Mrs. Bader Ginsburg. Yeah, she's she's in the hospital again. Bless her. Because 2020 better. Oh, la, la. Not you son of a night. <laughs> don't give it ideas. You leave Ruth alone. <sighs> you took no, no. Grant and Mahari yesterday. That's I not know. fair. I know. Well, now it's time to experience some of the other awfulness that has been just cascading down upon us. Yay! Shall we intro? Let's get the intro going. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring you back here for a little segment. We like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, let's start with Florida. Um, oh, why not? So, so Disney is open again. Uh, and probably one of the, the if who's it saying if this if Florida was its own nation, uh, it would be the fourth highest infected nation yeah, in the world. That's what I was saying. Like, like we have states that have beaten the numbers of nations. Yeah. Um, and they reopened Disney World in the midst of this with that that horrible uh, uh, dy- dystopian video. They welcome home. <laughs> that Come didn't go back. Well. Now, for those, did you see the line for guest services? Yeah, There's like a mile long line for guest services for people complaining about the precautions. Well, just to show you, they don't really get it. It wasn't just that little video. They don't really get it. Disney offering mask-free relaxation zones. Come on! Walt Disney World has reportedly opened several designated spaces throughout its theme park where visitors can remove required facial coverings. Um, Within these designated spaces, Guests can remove their mask and enjoy some downtime while spaced 10 feet apart from other parties inside a relaxation zone. 
what this says to me is people are just not getting it. Well, we've and got like, the space. On the one hand, I get it. Have you been to Florida in the summer? Oh yeah. It's bullshit. Yes. It's Satan's ass crack. It is. And I understand that. Like we went to the Denver Zoo a couple weeks ago. They were doing limited admission and everything, and it was ninety degrees. And wearing that mask was really hot. Mm -hmm. And I'm all broken out from wearing it outside and everything. But that's better than being dead. Mm -hmm. And you could also just like not go to Disney World. That is true. It's going to be there. How that's many years? Optional. Disney World's been there since the fucking 1960s. Yeah. It's going to be there. Optional. Yeah. You can just not go. It's going to be there. You can just. And I want to show you, this isn't an outdoor space, by the way. There it is. There's pictures of it. It's an indoor area. But and you can totally in forests stay 10 feet apart. Oh, God. They couldn't even force that in the, in the lines to get into the fucking park. Right. It, it, you couldn't pay me to go. It's I don't understand how I don't understand how people are like, this is a great time to go. I'm going to be there in the middle of I must be there. I don't understand why people go to Disney World in the summer anyway, because aforementioned Satan's ass crack. Right. I don't know why people do that anyway. Let I mean, alone when there's a fucking pandemic. I mean, when Pleasure Island was still there, I could at least understand that because there's drinks every five feet, you know, back then. But that's gone. So what's the point? I just it's it. And like, do you think they're sanitizing everything? I don't see how they could. Right. Do you think they can actually keep up with the crowds of grubby little hands? They can't. This was a uh, th this was a decision like early on. They're like, OK, things will be better by now. And we get to now, and they're not better, but but, but we worse. We got Things are worse. It's worse. But we said we're going to open now. We, we're going to reopen yeah, but, now, though. But you said we're we're going to open now. I said you could have dessert if you eat all your vegetables. You chewed up your vegetables and spit them in the plant. That doesn't <laughs> fucking count. That does not count. <laughs> That's what it's kind of what it came to come down to. You yeah. get no fucking ice cream. And we're just like, but you said ice cream. It's a little phrase just wanders through my head now and again. Decline and fall. Decline and fall. Dan keeps saying that like the whole zombie genre yeah, that's bullshit. is outdated because there are people that would run towards the zombies. Yeah. It's my right. It's my right to get bit by a zombie. <laughs> How dare you tell me to stay away from the zombies? I got freedoms. And we need herd immunity. Everybody should get bit by the zombies. Like, that's yeah. where we're at. Yeah. And the whole rest of the planet <clears throat> is just looking at us like. We're that house in the neighborhood yeah. that everybody stares at and just hopes they'll move. Most of it, we can't go anywhere. If you have a passport. They're like, they're like can we can we shoot America into into the sun? We, is that a thing we can do? There, there are like, I think there's like a couple of Caribbean islands and a few other small places. Yeah, in yeah we can't fucking go anywhere. We can't leave. Yeah, our passports are worthless. You can't I'm fucking really leave. I'm bummed I didn't get my Irish passport before now. Why did you wait? Because I'm very stupid. And yes! I, my, my sister has my dad's birth certificate and they need the original. And we were never able to find a day when we were both able to go to the embassy in New York. And then I moved to Colorado. Well... You could have been the fuck out of here, Tara. I mean, I don't know if they would let me take the hillbilly Brit with me, but put them in your luggage. They wouldn't. They just... <laughs> uh, well, next one uh, is a case of you meant well. Bless your heart. I think I think you meant well, but it didn't quite work. Anti-racist beer pulled from shelves for looking racist. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> West Hartford, Connecticut, a national beer chain with a location in West Hartford, has stopped selling a popular craft beer following complaints 
that it appeared to resemble a Ku Klux Klan hood. Oh my god, Dan, it's World of Beer. World of Beer announced this week and it pulled Yellow oh, Belly Beer god. from a further sale. A bottle of the beer comes wrapped in a white hood-like paper with two eye holes. Please accept our apologies for the lapse in judgment in serving. While we can't speak for the intent of the brewer, the visual representation does not have a place in our establishment. We appreciate you bringing it to our attention. Welcome the opportunity for discussion. So what they did, it's called Yellow Belly. What they were trying to do, bless your fucking heart, was say, look, cowards, except it's you kind of just this is what happens when you let white people handle the racism campaign because <laughs> even when we try really hard we just kind of don't get it you see look if if, if you like if if to, you mock the swats the, the, if you mock the nazis by making like a pride swastika you've yeah, still that, made no. a swastika yeah do you get it? Yeah. Well, well, no, you see. I mean, I don't know how that made it through. Because like I've said before, every decision a company makes goes through several levels of review and several meetings and committees. Mm -hmm. And like many people have to sign off on it. Yep. So a whole lot of people were like, yeah, KKK beer. That's a good idea. Yeah, because people no, were calling them cowards is, is the thing. You, you, you get it? We're, we're calling them cowards because we're, they're yellow bellies. That's what we're putting on. The... Like you meant well. Bless your fucking heart. But you need a black person to work at that company. You do. Yeah. I mean, more than one would be ideal. We used like to just somebody say. Somebody in that review process needed to not be a white person <laughs> so they could be like, no. We needed. We used to just say you just needed a 14 year old to work there. But now you need a 14 year old. Yeah, well, you need black people anyway. I mean, you need you, you pretty much every kind of person. You should be hiring different kinds of people <laughs> anyway, not just for this reason. Well, yeah, just because all kinds of people are good at jobs. You need to have people there so someone can go, excuse me, when you're about to do something very stupid. You need at least one person there to go, wait. Do you, ever watch, what? do you ever watch the show Insecure on HBO? I do not. Issa Rae does, it's her show and it's really funny. And she works for like a, a nonprofit mm. that's called We Got Y'all. And she's the only black person that works there. And it's a nonprofit devoted to like helping urban youth. And they had a whole meeting about like, is our name racist? And like the logo is a white hand holding black children. Is that racist? And like everybody looks at her and she's just like, I've been telling you this for a year. <laughs> mm. <sighs> That's what this is. Maybe somebody did tell them and they were just like, no, don't you get it? We get it. Bless your fucking heart. It's just not good. <laughs> Let's move on to uh, Mississauga up in uh, Canada. Canada. Seven. I want to point out this is. This was done by a 74-year-old man. A 74-year-old man. Is older than all of us. Just I like that much. <sighs> Mississauga man charged after used condoms tied to nine parked cars. Ew. 74-year-old Mississauga man is facing more than a dozen charges related to women discovering used condoms tied to their cars and parking lots in that city over the past two years. Starting in July 2018, women began reporting finding used condoms tied to their vehicles in various shopping centers. Today, nine women have come forward. After an investigation, police said a suspect uh, identified as Peter Malagos was charged on Monday and charged with 11 counts of mischief, two counts of criminal harassment, one count of committing an indecent act, and one count of voyeurism. Log is released on a pro promise to appear and will return to court. No, you don't. That, that, why? You let him go? They let him go. Investigators say they believe there are other incidents that have occurred. Um, so, number one, um, where was he getting the fucking condoms? Presumably they were his. Are you sure, though? 
Because at 74... You can still father children at 74. Eh, you, you know. I mean, you might need some, you know, little blue pills, but... Come on, you really think a dude who's tying condoms to women's cars doesn't need a little help? That that says so much about the dude. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they weren't his. <laughs> I have incredible <clears throat> faith in men's ability to be fucking disgusted. <laughs> Y'all have proven time and time again well, that you will overcome the odds to be fucking disgusting. Well, the other option was he was like poking around yeah i don't think he was collecting other people's i think clearly he jerked off into a condom and tied it to some girl's car because he's horrible and what what is what's the message there what's the what is he trying to fucking accomplish the same thing sending dick pics does like dudes just like to inflict your dicks on random women but but wouldn't why not tie a picture of your dick why a used car? What the? Probably because that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, this isn't because they they've got his ass on camera. Because now, whenever somebody searches the internet, whenever he goes, you know, he, he's going for any sort of uh, anything. Whenever somebody searches the internet, Peter Malagos and used condoms. Those those will there's go together. Also, there's a lot of men who like to do this shit to women just to prove they can. Just just to make us to purposely make us feel unsafe and to prove that we are never secure. I don't you know? get this. I don't fuck. Get a hug. Get a hobby. There's so he many more. One. There's so many more things that could preoccupy your time. Yeah. There's so many more th fucking things that could fuck. You're jerking off into condoms, man. Probably angrily. Probably. Because he probably fucking hates women. Is learn a trade. Take up whittling. He was whittling into condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Follow hockey. Hockey's a thing up there, right? Right, yeah. Don't you have hockey like year round, yeah. 24 hours a day? It's Canada. Uh, so, uh, here's an, here's another little side effect of, uh, the, the reopening madness. Um, some places are not exactly trusting, uh, law enforcement and other government entities to maintain their safety, yet they're still trying to do the reopening. So they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. Which means they end up with things like this. <clears throat> Cornwall Pub installs electric fence at the bar. Wow. Management at a popular club in a popular pub in Cornwall had put up an electric fence at the bar to ensure people maintain social distancing. Staff at the Star Inn have had enough people doing as they pleased ignoring social distancing guidelines, so they put up a polite warning notice on the bar. Oh, and a fully wired and charged electric fence. Pub bosses came up with the hair-raising way of making sure punchers leave a gap between each other and between themselves and staff serving after the pub and getting fed up with people ignoring the guidelines. So, um... Maybe if we're putting up electric fences... Maybe we shouldn't be open. Maybe we shouldn't. That should tell you, you can't, if you can't get people to follow simple fucking instructions, which is quite often, you have two choices. I also feel like this is asking for a lot of legal trouble. Yeah. Um, you, a little bit of electricity in the wrong person and their heart just goes, well, fuck this. Um, I, this, this is, like most businesses go out of their way to make sure nobody's going to get hurt there because that would cost them a lot of money. Yeah. And, cost them a lot of money. 
A couple of drunken revelers claim they were electrocuted by the fence on Saturday night after one too many pints. You see, that's the thing. You're in, you're selling an intoxicant that reduces yeah. people's coordination. Yeah. And you're and I don't know how much if you've been to a pub uh, um uh, uh, like a proper pub, there's no wait staff. No. If you sit down, your 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 uh order comes up, you have to go get it. So you've had a few rounds and then your next order's up, you have to go over and you the, the counter and get the, the so yeah, you're gonna fall on that fucking fence. Yes, you are. You're gonna try and lean over three feet to pick up Hi. drinks. Are you gonna fall yeah. on the fence? I I don't. <laughs> Terrible idea. This. Oh. How could anyone do this and go? This is a solution. Not no. This. What are you, you fucking should, thinking? You should just not be open. Right. We can't get people to to not potentially infect themselves so let's put up an electric fence i have for many years tried to insist to people that we are all of us surrounded by morons in yeah. any given direction yep i don't think people believed me they should have we've been doing this a long ass time They're just lurking, waiting to leap forward. Like, at least now you have an excuse to make the moron stay at least six feet away from you. You do. You well, if you back the fuck up. If you can. True. You can't make me do things. <sighs> Freedoms. I, I, you're not my mom. How did this idea get from the light bulb to implementation without anybody going... Maybe this is a terrible idea. Well, the first lawsuit will probably, you know, settle <laughs> it all nicely. Next up, uh, another case of a gun is not a remote control for life. This is something most we other... We just talking about this. Yeah, it's something most other nations do not have to contend with, but we do. This is from Arkansas. Pizzeria Pistolero gets popped by police. Wow, that's a headline. <laughs> Arkansas man shot out the front window of a Little Rock pizzeria after arguing with an employee about a purported paucity of toppings on a pie he ordered police ledge. Really? Someone's Was getting paid by the word. Procure pickled peppers for his pizza pie? Michael Brown, 44, was arrested on multiple felony charges following a violent confrontation Monday afternoon. According to the Little Rock Police Department report, after Brown and a female acquaintance placed an order, Brown, quote, became upset at the portion and size of the order. Specifically, Brown thought he was shorted on his pizza's toppings. Um, when Brown asked to speak with a manager, worker Bonnie Smith called her supervisor and handed the phone to Brown. Brown subsequently threw the phone at Miss Smith, striking her on the side of the face. After another pizza pie employee asked Brown to leave, he began arguing and went outside. All right. At the point you're throwing shit at people and they're asking you to leave, you're in the wrong. I'm sorry. You lose. Go home. I don't care if they put, if they put a foot-long turd on your pizza. Yeah. When you're throwing stuff at them, you have lost the moral high ground. Brown retreated to his work van, walked back to the business holding a gun. Brown was unable to enter the pizzeria since a worker had locked the front door. Unable to gain entry, Brown shot out the glass of the front door. Here's the best part. Brown then drove away from the restaurant in a white van Carrying the name of his drain cleaning business and the firm's 800 number. Smart. Honey. <laughs> Call 1 800 Mr. Plow. That name again is Mr. Plow. <laughs> Leaving aside that P 
pizza toppings is mm-hmm. never a valid reason for murder. Nope. Or, you know, intimidation with a deadly weapon, because you were probably just trying to be real scary. But break that down for a minute. You were trying to scare people with something that could kill them over fucking pepperoni. Mm -hmm. You committed this insane, completely unnecessary felony. Oh, yeah. In a van with your phone number and name on it. Yep, yep. Six felony terrorist act counts and a misdemeanor battery wrap. Over a fucking pe- I don't think people appreciate once you have added a gun to the equation, everything gets escalated. Oh yeah. You have everything changes. It's it's like it's now you're playing for fucking keeps. Okay? Yeah. Because you could kill somebody. And the law is like, oh, a fucking gun? Well, let's just take you. Felony. You, six I felony mean, fucking counts. That's a coin flip if you're white, for being honest. That's but true. But. For everybody that's not an old white dude, introducing S- a gun changes things considerably. Six felony fuck over fucking pizza. Over pizza. Arkansas pizza. So it's almost certainly really not worth it. <laughs> Has this motherfucker never heard of a Yelp review? I mean, Christ almighty. There are there are recompenses for this sort of situation. Guns are not. Nothing is getting fixed by adding a gun. Just nothing. Just to the burn book of the internet. Yelp. That should be their slogan. Burn book of the internet. We, got, we have one more tonight that's just... So this is very fucking Florida. Um, everyone, everyone, and their fucking brother is trying to get in on the grift of offering cures right now. This is one of the stupidest, and I don't, I don't understand how they thought this was going to be okay. That everyone was going to be cool with this. Federal agencies hazmat crews. Respond to Florida Church selling COVID nineteen miracle solution. Oh, I think we saw this. Yeah, I know exactly. What yeah. Multiple agencies were called to the Genesis Two Church of Health and Healing in Bradenton, Florida, in connection with search warrants and federal orders involving the concoction the church has been selling as an alleged treatment for the novel coronavirus. Back in April, the FDA issued an injunction against the church for dis- distributing, quote, a mineral min- a miracle mineral solution. Uh, the solution contains chloride dioxide equivalent to industrial bleach. Asthmat crews were called to assist with warrants. Warrants were served at the church location. The crews found 50 gallons uh, muriatic acid. Not quite sure what that is. 20 gallons of the finished miracle mineral solution. 8,300 pounds sodium chloride. Court documents obtained uh, show that a federal judge ordered all websites selling the good be immediately removed. And the supplies involved the creation of the miracle mineral solution be confiscated and destroyed. See, here's the thing. There's this one dude on on late night TV has been selling the miracle spring water shit yeah. for God knows how long. And you know what's in it? Water. Fucking water. It's just fu- whatever he's doing, whatever lies and yards he's fucking spinning. He's Probably not out of his tap <clears throat> it, through a Brita filter. It doesn't fucking matter because all he's selling is fucking water. He can say it does anything he wants and probably be covered by what the supplement rules for the FDA and whatnot, but it's still water. When you will start selling, why would you do bleach? Why in the... And that's the thing, like, if they had just sold, like, saline, they might have gotten away with that shit. Muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid. (gasps) Okay, that's... Yeah, That's, it's, for floor, it's for etching concrete floors. So you were selling buckets of murder out of your church? I mean, that's a little Jim Jonesy, but... I, I just... And I gotta point out, Bradenton, Florida is not a good place. Um, if, I'm, if I'm... 
Let me let me see if I if I'm getting the the. Uh... I'm going to assume that once they find out how many people bought this, there will be that many charges of a of attempted murder. Yeah, um, Bradenton is is very close to Scientology Ground Zero, so Ooh. yeah, it's a creepy place. I used to live in Tampa, or close or Point Newport Ritchie, which is very close to Tampa. And it's also very close to Clearwater. And I worked in that area. And there's my like middle managers were all kind of Scientology. Oh God. Now keep in mind, I was like 23 years old at the time. So it's like, you know, I was brand new, shiny. But you know, you kind of fall. They didn't get you to, they didn't get you into the Sea Orc, huh? Oh no, no. <laughs> But yeah, you kind of figure it out slowly that something's not quite right. But yeah, this, this, it's all, the area is already kind of not good in the brain. How you were selling people fucking bleach. Why? Why? There should be corresponding attempted murder charges for every person that bought it. They should. Why? Did, why would you? Of any fucking thing you could fucking sell. Why did you Literally, do this? It's like you go to Whole Foods and they sell water with a stick of asparagus in it for seven dollars. Because supposedly the water absorbs all those nutrients. It doesn't. It doesn't do it. It just enough. it's water that tastes crappy now. Yeah. The rich bitch town I used to work in in New York, they the whole the, the vegan place always sold alkaline water, and everybody with a thousand dollar purse in town had a bottle of alkaline water. What does that mean? It's water. It's fucking water. What's it gonna do? It's gonna fucking hydrate you. I. You could have done that. You could have just put some sticks of celery in some water and been like, it's a miracle cure. And you know what? You you wouldn't be facing. They had to fu send a fucking hazmat crew to your. I mean, you might get charged with fraud, but you weren't going to kill anybody with celery right. water. Just why the f I don't understand what the... Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know the thought process here. Did you just get a bunch of bleached sheep and you're like, well, I got to move this somehow. I mean, Sell you know... to the KKK. They got a lot of whites to keep white. And I mean that in multiple ways. I don't even fucking know. Were you trying to catch the Hellbop comic? Because it's gone. <laughs> it's way gone. I don't know how many people are going to understand that reference. That one might be a little old for our current audience. It's on. It's on Wikipedia. Go okay, yeah. Go go go. Look that one up. That that that's that's a little bit of a deep cut, shall we say? Um. But yeah, that the, the first thing we learned this week is um, if you're trying to scam the people, water will do. Yeah, it's it doesn't have to be murder. Pretty the people are not really, you know, they're not bright. You can sell them water at exorbitant prices and say whatever you want about it. And someone will believe the term that shit. Snake oil salesman exists for a reason. Yeah. Selling harmless shit that won't do anything is a time honored American tradition. Seriously. Um, but it's, it's not like this is the, it's not like the European Union where they have rules and shit. Yeah. Um, We've learned that you don't need to bring out a gun because you didn't get enough pepperoni. No. Why in the name of fuck? And like, I have pizza frustration because I moved to a state where the pizza's dodgy. And I don't care what any of y'all want to tell me in the YouTube comments. The pizza here is fucking dodgy. And I have not had a really good slice of pizza since I came here. And it's a little upsetting. But I'm not going to shoot anybody about it. I'm going to whine. That's what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to whine. That's what Yelp is for. That's why we invented Yelp. And I'm going to gorge myself on pizza when I, if I ever get to visit my family again. And if there's pizza by then. We've learned that if you need to electrocute your patrons to maintain some sort of sa <clears throat> health and safety, maybe you should just take a break. I mean, unless they're into that, and that's the kind of business you're running. Right, yeah, but which, then you need to get a waiver on that one. You need to get a fucking waiver. that kind of business shouldn't be running now anyway. We've learned that it's if not you're... not sanitary. 
we we've learned that if you're a um a septuagenarian, a septuagenarian and you find yourself jerking off into condoms to tie them to women's cars, um maybe you want to get a hobby or something. Go to go down to the local rec center. Maybe maybe find a, a, a shuffleboard course or something. I don't know. Bird watching. Or Bird watching. Yourself in your basement until you die. Yeah, that's an option too. Yeah, you don't really belong among polite society. We've learned you need to have someone who does not look like you to bounce ideas off of yes. in life. Just because you are going to be oblivious to a whole lot of shit. And I say this as an oblivious motherfucker. You are going to be oblivious to a whole lot of shit. There's some stuff that white people just don't get. And that's okay. You will spare like yourself so many apologies. Like, that's not a fucking attack on white people. There's just some shit that we cannot internalize. What should I, should I make, should I put a bow tie on the bottle? No, that's a different racist. Um... <laughs> and finally, we've learned <laughs> we're wearing the masks for a reason. We have these rules for a reason. You can't time out the rules for your you patron's convenience. That's not I how. I haven't even heard about that. That's horrifying. The the, the virus is not going to be like, okay, you put up a designated area. I'm going to back off. I understand. Oh, man. Is, that, is that the no COVID zone? Okay, sorry. I'll stay out. Florida. Remember when Florida used to be funny? And not just actively trying to murder everybody? Those yeah. are good times. Those are good times. Yeah. I miss the not burning times. 